order to be a lawyer, you don't have to be a criminal. In order to be a doctor, you don't have to be sick all your life. In order to make a violin, I don't have to know how to play the violin very well. My name is David Siegel. I'm a violin maker, I'm a violin repairman, and we also deal in the shop with violins. This is made by Stradivarius, Antonio Stradivarius. It was made in 1701. In order to make a violin from scratch, we basically need 200 hours of work. Once we closed an instrument, varnished it, and almost ready to be played, there is one component to it which is very important, in English it's sound post, but in Italian it's called anima. Anima means soul. Each instrument that I make, and each instrument that Stradivarius had made, the sound of the violin, the timbre, the uh, soul of the instrument is different. It's a nice instrument. One day you'll get it. Huh? Have you ever played in the Strat before? No, no, no. The first time? Wow. It's an exciting moment for her, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't be sorry, be happy. You know, uh, when you come here on Monday, I'll let you play it again. Okay? Yeah. I'll put it back in the safe, so it will be safe. My violin is made by David, my husband, and it was made in 1982. And as he finished that violin and I tried, I said, this is it. It took Hannah about two minutes to decide that that's her violin. I tuned it, I gave it to her, she played it and she said, that violin stays here. If I perform, it projects, everybody can hear it. And then people would c come to me and ask, what instruments are you playing on? It sounds so great. And I'm very happy to say, this is my seagull. I'm very proud of the fact that uh, she is playing on my violin. She had made several recordings on that violin and very, very, very many concerts with the Philharmonic whom she's with. I feel like all in the family. Our son plays violin and is a conductor, so music is our bread and butter in our family. The conductor is a conduit for the music and through movement shows how it should go. The gestures convey rhythm, tempo, indications, entrances, and then the overall shape of, of the piece. A conductor cannot conduct without an instrumentalist in front of him. An instrumentalist cannot play without having an instrument. Either one of them is difficult, yet a conductor is more difficult. Conducting is perhaps the most difficult thing I've ever tried to do, and it also is the most rewarding. He has to be a leader, he has to be a psychiatrist, he has to inspire 100 people playing under him. He has to know how to rehearse, he has to know how to program, he has to know how to accompany. I mean, it's lots of requirement for one profession. When Yaniv conducts an orchestra, just like when my wife performs on a violin, I want to be in every concert of either one of them. It's the fact that my own family, my closest people to me, are performing this great music. We play music. We don't work music. Whatever I do here, I do it because I love it. Every violin is different, but it comes out to a player which can either awaken that soul or not. I feel very fortunate every time I get up there. The music is beautiful and connecting players together in order to create such a, a wonderful product that other people then can be inspired by or just enjoy listening to it. I think that's an amazing experience and I'm very grateful for it.